Your warfare is accomplished. Amen. Amen. And your iniquity is pardoned. Amen. Amen. This is the message that the Lord has given me for his ransomed people. Amen. Isaiah 40, verse 1, he says, Comfort ye, comfort ye my people. Amen. Saith your God, speak ye comfortably unto Jerusalem, and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. Amen. That her iniquity is pardoned. For she hath received the Lord's hand double for all her sins. So the title of my message this morning is One Sacrifice Once for All. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I want to tell you this morning that there was one sacrifice. Mm -hmm. One perfect sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And by this one perfect sacrifice, your iniquity is pardoned. Amen. And by that same sacrifice, your warfare is it's not just ended, it's accomplished. Amen. Amen. So let's go to our text. It's in Hebrews chapter 10, and I'm going to start from verse 9 right now. This is talking about Jesus. And he says, Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And every priest standeth daily, ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down. Amen. Amen on the right hand of God, from henceforth expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. Amen. So under the law there was not just one sacrifice. There was no mention of a sacrifice that would be for all time. This, this kind of sacrifice was not included in the law. There was, there was no provision made for a sacrifice that would end all other sacrifices. Amen. Amen. So what kind of sacrifices were included under the law? The sacrifices of the law were sacrifices of bulls and goats. Sacrifices that the Holy Spirit revealed to... The Holy Spirit showed to be unable... To make the people perfect. Mm -hmm. And it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats should take away sin. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So because these sacrifices could not make the people perfect, they had to be offered again and again for the faults of the people. Every year, the priest went into the holiest place and he offered this uh, so this sacrifice for atonement for the people and every year the people would sin again and so there would have to be a uh, sacrifice for the atonement the next year Hebrews 10 starting at verse 1 this time for the law having a shadow of good things to come and not the very image of those th of the things can never with those sacrifices which they offered year by year continually, make the comers thereunto perfect. For then would they not have ceased to be offered, because the worshippers once purged should have had no more conscience of sins. But in those sacrifices there is a remembrance again made of sins every year. For it is not possible that the blo blood of bulls and of goats should take away sins. So under the law, there was this day of atonement every year. And the fact that this was every year indicates this, that the sacrifice would never be able to make the people perfect. Right. Amen. Right. See, if there was any hope of this sacrifice making the people perfect, 
there would have been provision for there not to be a day of atonement. Amen. 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 But the sins of the people are expected after the day of atonement, and so there must be a sacrifice every year. Yeah. See, God knew that this sacrifice would not make the people perfect, and it couldn't. So it had to be offered every year. And there are about 1,500 years between the making of the tabernacle and Christ. And so that's about 1,500 days of atonement. And every day of atonement, one bullet, two rams, and one goat were offered. And so that's 6,000 animals just offered for the day of atonement, not mentioning all these other sacrifices for sin. And after all these sacrifices, there still had to be an offering for sin the next year. These offerings were not final. They were only temporary. So, and even after these thousands and thousands of offerings, they still could not make the people perfect. Micah 6.6, 6, Wherewith shall I come before the wor Lord, and bow myself before the high God? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves of a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, or with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? See, God was not pleased with the multitude of sacrifices. Right. Amen. God did not just want more un imperfect sacrifices. Amen. The, the number of the sacrifices didn't really make a difference. Amen. They were still I imperfect, and it just made a bigger pile of imperfection. Amen. See, God wanted one perfect sacrifice. Amen. Hebrews 10.5, continuing on from where we read last, he says, Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin thou hast had no pleasure. Then said I, Lo, I come, in the volume of the book it is written of me, to do thy will, O God. Amen. Above when he said, Sacrifice and offering and burnt offerings and offering for sin thou wouldest not, neither hast pleasure, in, pleasure therein, which are offered by the law. Then t said he, Lo, I come to do thy will. Mm -hmm. O God, he taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. Amen. So all the sacrifices of the law did not give the Lord pleasure. They did not do his will. But when Jesus came, he said, Lo, I come to do thy will. Amen. See, all these sacrifices, they, they didn't come to do the will of the Father. They didn't actually accomplish what God wanted. But Jesus came and he said, I come to do thy will. Amen. 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 So all these hundreds of years of sacrifices, they couldn't please the Father. And then Jesus came and he did the will of the Amen. Father. Amen. 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 Romans 8, 3, For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending His own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Amen. See, Christ accomplished right. Amen. all the things that the sacrifices under the law could not do. Amen. See, what the law could not do, Christ did. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Hebrews 7:19 For the law made nothing perfect, but the bringing up in of a better hope did. Amen. Amen. By the which we draw nigh unto God. Mm -hmm. Amen. See, the law made nothing perfect, but by one offering Christ hath perfected mm -hmm. them that are sanctified. See, Christ made something perfect. Mm -hmm. 
The law didn't make something perfect, but Christ did. He perfected forever mm -hmm. them that are sanctified. Amen. Amen. Hebrews chapter 9, starting at verse 9. This is talking about the tabernacle, which was a figure for the time present, in which were offered both gifts and sacrifices. They could not make him that did the service perfect as pertaining to the conscience which stood only in meats and drinks and diverse washings and carnal ordinances imposed on them until the time of reformation. But Christ being come, and high priest of good things to come, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once mm -hmm. into the holy place, having obtained mm -hmm. eternal Amen. redemption Amen. for us. Amen. Amen. For if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of an heifer sprinkling the unclean sanctifieth to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offers himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Amen. 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 See, Christ did purge our conscience. Amen. Amen. He did it. Amen. He purged our conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Amen. John 17, 4, this is Jesus praying. He says, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. Amen. See, Jesus finished the work that the Father gave him to do. And John 19, 28, after this, Jesus, knowing all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Now there was a vessel of vinegar, and they filled a sponge with vinegar and put it upon hyssop and put it to his mouth. When Jesus, therefore, had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. Amen. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. See, everything was accomplished in Christ. Amen. Amen. It, he, he, he fulfilled the scripture here. and he, he's, To fulfill the scripture, he said, I thirst. And he knew that all things were now accomplished. And he said, it is finished. Mm -hmm. Amen. He finished the work. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 55.10 For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish that which I pre please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree, and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree. And it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. See, Jesus. Now, Jesus is the Word. Amen. He Amen. is the Word of God. Amen. And He did accomplish mm -hmm. what the Father pleased. Amen. And he, prom he prospered in the thing whereto the Father sent him. Mm -hmm. See, he spoiled principalities and powers, and he saved the saints to the uttermost. See, Amen. he prospered. Amen. He prospered in the thing whereto the Father sent him. Amen. <laughs> and just from verse 12, he said, You should all go out with joy and be led forth with peace. See, he, he brought peace on earth. Mm -hmm. And in verse 13, he says, Instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree. See, in the curse, God said to Adam that the ground would bear thorns. But Christ redeemed us Amen. from the curse. And now, instead of the thorn, comes up the fir tree. Amen. Amen. And I'm sort of getting off topic. but Isaiah 53.10 says, Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall, seed, he shall see his seed, 
he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied. Amen. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Amen. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death. And he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Amen. See, Christ satisfied the Father. Mm -hmm. he, he was the only sacrifice for sin that satisfied the Father. And he bore the sin of many. 1 John 2, 1 my little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins. And not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. See, Christ is the propitiation for, our, for the sins of the whole world. Amen. 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 None of the sacrifices under the law did that. Mm -hmm. But Christ is the propitiation for our sins. Amen. Amen. And Christ fulfilled the prophecy of the angel Gabriel to, da to Daniel. Daniel 9, 24. Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression mm -hmm. and to make an end of sins. Amen. Amen. And to make reconciliation for iniquity. Mm -hmm. And to bring in everlasting righteousness. Amen. Amen. And to seal up the vision and the prophecy and to anoint the most holy. Yes. See, Amen. Christ finished the yes. transgression. Amen. And he made an end of sins. Amen. And he made reconciliation for iniquity. Amen. And he brought in everlasting righteousness. Amen. He sanctified and cleansed the church. Amen. He brought us to God. He washed and sanctified and justified us. Mm -hmm. See, Christ did all that the law could not do. The, the offering of Christ accomplished what thousands of bulls and goats could not do. By one offering, Christ has done everything that needed to be done for salvation. Amen. Hebrews, going back to Hebrews 10, 14. For by one offering, he hath perfected Amen. forever them that are sanctified. Whereof the Holy Ghost is also is a witness to us. After that he had said before, this is the covenant I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts, and in their minds will I write them. And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Amen. Amen. Now, where remission of these is, Amen. there is no more offering for sin. Right. Amen. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he hath consecrated for us, through the veil, that is to say, his flesh. And having an high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart, in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Amen. See, Christ Amen. put away sin by Amen. the sacrifice of himself. Amen. Amen. Now, if Christ put away sin, what further need is there for sacrifices for Amen. sin? Amen. You see, where remission of these is, there is no more offering for sin. Amen. See, the, the perfect sacrifice of Christ is enough to atone for sins. Amen. And not only the past sins. See, un under the law, all these sacrifices were for sins past. But the offering of Christ extends backward and forward yeah. Amen. with its sanctifying power. Amen. Amen. So, just want to point out here that because Christ 
did all these things, all these things we were talking about. He accomplished the will of the Father, and he, he made atonement for sin. See, there is no more offering for sin. This is why there was only one sacrifice. This is why he had one sacrifice once for all. Because he did it all in the one sacrifice. Amen. Amen. He didn't leave anything undone that had to be done by another sacrifice. Amen. Christ accomplished it all in that one sacrifice. Amen. Going back to Hebrews 10, verse 11. And every priest standeth daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down mm -hmm. on the right hand of God, from henceforth expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. Amen. For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. Mm -hmm. yes. See, Christ sat down. Mm -hmm. His work in salvation is done in this way. He has... He has finished the offering for sin. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. See, the, the only reason he could sit down is because he did finish the work. Yeah. Amen. He offered the perfect sacrifice for sins forever, and it is finished, and there is no more cleansing to do. He hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. Amen. Amen. Christ accomplished it all in that Amen. one sacrifice. In Romans 10, verse 1, he says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves to the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. Amen. Amen. See, there is, there is no need for the law as a means to salvation anymore. Righteousness comes by Christ. Amen. And see, now we must submit ourselves to God's righteousness. See, we cannot... Keep trying to justify ourselves. Christ has justified for us. He is the propitiation for our sins. He has done all that. Mm -hmm. He, by one sacrifice, He has perfected forever them that are sanctified. See, there is no more perfecting that we need to do. Amen. See, don't, don't think that you can make salvation any better. Christ has accomplished what needed to be done? Amen. There is no more need for another sacrifice. See, we must put our faith in His sacrifice. Amen. Hebrews 4.9 There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. For he that is entered into rest, he also hath ceased from his own works, as God did from his. See, we which believe do enter into rest. See, now is the time to be ceasing from our own works. Amen. Amen. Yeah. See, it is time to trust in Christ. Amen. He has offered the perfect sacrifice. Amen. Let us not try to come to God our own way. See, Christ has accomplished everything that needed to be done and we, we don't want to mess up God's work here. It's, all, it's already done. Yeah. Yeah. Christ sat down and let us sit down from our works also. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So Christ offered one sacrifice for sins forever. Mm -hmm. This sacrifice is not temporary. It will not suddenly cease. This salvation is forever. And we can have confidence in the offering of Christ, knowing that it will not fail or grow old. Yes, amen. Amen. Isn't that great? Yes. We know that the offering that Christ has done is for all time. Amen. We don't have to worry that maybe tomorrow it won't be enough. Amen. See, we know that 
Today it is enough. Amen. He, today he is the propitiation Amen. for our Amen. sins. And tomorrow Amen. he will still be before the Father interceding for me. And the next day and the next day. And we don't have to worry about this ending. Amen. 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 He offered one sacrifice for sins forever. Amen. Amen. Hebrews 7.23 and they truly were many priests, because they were not suffered to continue by reason of death. But this man, because he continueth ever, hath an unchangeable priesthood. Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost, that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. For such an high priest became us who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher than the heavens, who needeth not daily, as those high priests, to offer up sacrifice, first for his own sins, and then for the people's. For this he did once, yes. when he offered up himself. For the law maketh high priests which have infirmity, but the word of the oath, which was sent the law, maketh the Son, who is consecrated forevermore. Amen. Amen. And our, our, the offering that Christ did is forever. Mm -hmm. Amen. It is one sacrifice. Amen. Once for all. Amen. 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 Thank you, brother. I, uh, I really appreciate your zeal. And it, because it, it what evidences your apprehension of the truth when you know as these things kind of the, the more you understand them well it's the reasonable it's just reasonable at that point um, I appreciate it brethren your comments brother brother Silas uh, made this observation that there was no provision in the law for a sacrifice that would end all sacrifices I thought that was a very uh, Astute comment. I, I never had really thought about it like mm -hmm. that before. But there, you know, there wasn't. It was just all. It was just again and again mm -hmm. and again. It was mm -hmm. just un, it, until the until the time should come. You know mm -hmm. that until the the promise should come. And then uh, this, uh, you said on the on the day of atonement with regard to the six thousand animals that were offered. He says that was a large amount or pile, his, his word was pile of imperfections. So that, was, that was good. A large amount of imperfection. That was because uh, it just added up to more imperfection. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that all the sacrifices could not please the Father and then Christ came and did the will of God. In that context. Mm -hmm. That was the context that Jesus came and pleased the Father in the context of all these sacrifices that couldn't please, that couldn't please God. And then this uh, expression, you know, he brought out this at the beginning there, this, this matter that the, he said the warfare is not ended, it's been accomplished. And that's really the, the nature. See, Jesus didn't just end the warfare. You know, men, men are able to do this in this world. You know, they're able to end warfares, you know, to some degree, but but they're not able to accomplish the warfare. This is really impossible. Only God can accomplish a warfare. You know, this is this is like the where you actually go to the root of the matter. You know, in accomplishing the warfare. You know, this is this is the cause of the warfare and the and the you know the, the things that are you know that are aggravating the warfare. You know, he's he actually he went to the root of the matter. He accomplished it. And it was just. Uh, he said that the offerings of the law were only for past sins, mm -hmm. and and I, I like the way that you labored that, Brother Silas. That this is a that Christ's offering is is uh, is not only for past, but it's for present. It's for all time. It's for tomorrow. It's for the next day. Mm -hmm. It's for yesterday, and it's for <coughs> it's for all time. So yes. yeah. good. it was very Amen. very good. Amen. Taking up this uh, point that Brother Silas made about this offering for sin one time forever, where you, uh, where God opens up the, uh, the curtain of uh, that 
last day and the, and the, and the world to come and the ages to come there in the book of Revelation, the, the preeminent one that he speaks about is the Lamb. The Lamb that's in the midst of the throne. Yep. So, Amen. You Amen. The, so you again reinforcing that, that very point that we made there. His sacrifice is one time forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, the, that's the basis of our, of our surety before God is that, that one yep. perfect sacrifice. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. We talked uh, from Romans 8, 3 about how the law could, what the law could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh. God sent his own son, and he did it. But it wasn't like the law did part, but then what it, <laughs> what it couldn't do, he did the rest. No, he did. Mm -hmm. It says, the law maketh nothing perfect. Amen. Yeah, nothing right. perfect. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Amen. So after all those sacrifices, it was a big nothing still. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it must have been a shock to the people to even think about this concept mm -hmm. of being of putting away sin. Mm -hmm. Because in these sacrifices, there's a remembrance of sin. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a continual remembrance. Yeah. See you next year. Yeah. <laughs> but he put away sin by the sacrifice of Amen. It just makes, just even hearing these kind of words, just makes me want to draw near to God. Amen. 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 Just gives me so much confidence. Mm -hmm. that they don't get old. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's like fresh, fresh clothes. It doesn't wear out. Yeah. Without a, a proper apprehension of this one sacrifice for sins forever. There, men can't really have a, a faith that glorifies God. You know, this is a, and, and of course, this, this we're not saying we're not saying that any of us have arrived and we're better than you. That's not the point we're making. But there, this this uh, this highlights the importance of the proclamation yes. of the gospel Amen. and the proclamation of these very texts that Brother Silas has been ministering about about finished and ended mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and all of these things that have been accomplished and things that Jesus did all of these things have to be in your understanding if you're going to have a they've got to be part of your part of you and part of they have to be part of me you know, mm -hmm. in order to have a faith that's going to glorify God in, in order to rest to rest in yeah. God so you're mm -hmm. going to, if you're going to rest in God you're going to have to rest in what what God did through mm -hmm. his son see mm -hmm. and, You brought up that he perfected forever them that are sanctified, and I was I was thinking <clears throat> the verse came to mind that we are to cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. And I, I said, well, he's perfected forever, and we are to perfect. And but then you know it's it's the blood it's the same sacrifice that cleanses us from all unrighteousness. It's the same it's the one sacrifice the the way for us. To, to be cleansed, the way for us to cleanse ourselves is really just to, to trust in the one sacrifice that actually has the, mm -hmm. the power to do so. It's not that we, it's not that we add anything. Any, any addition that we would offer up would just defile the... <laughs> it would just ruin it. Yeah. Yeah. And so we, we, that's why we, ha we rest in that, one, in that one sacrifice once for all. I appreciated, too, the, the bringing out of that... Um, point that Br Brother Al mentioned too, that, you know, that the law didn't make a provision for for the future sacrifice. It was it was always the past things, and mm -hmm. always a, as a remembrance of former things. Mm -hmm. Someone To someone who's struggling under law, they can probably, uh, well, I know that I can uh, confess that you know, you just keep offering up these things. You just, yeah. you know, you offer, when you bring your stuff, when you bring your sacrifice, it, your conscience mm -hmm. kind of bears, what, that's, it, like, this isn't enough. It can't be enough to mm -hmm. come before God. But when you can see, when you can see that Christ is the end of the law for righteousness, then you Amen. can be cleansed from that. Amen. So really the key to all these things is seeing to see Jesus, see the Amen. sacrifice, Amen. see Jesus, see the comprehend and believe them. Amen. That's right. Yeah. You know, once for all means all sin and all people. 
Mm-hmm. So, so s- even though s- we deal with sin, sin isn't the issue that holds us away from God because Christ has already taken care of that. Christ died for all sin. Amen. So now we don't, we, like, you're, like you were, the brother was just saying, we don't become righteous by bringing a sacrifice. The sacrifice has been made, and God, like Brother Silas brought up, God is satisfied. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He that hath the Son hath one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Amen. You know the matter of satisfaction. Um, I don't know that in Earth that we're really capable of any full measure of satisfaction. You know the, but to think that God was satisfied, that God was satisfied. He saw the travail of His Son, soul, and He was satisfied. Now we're satisfied with what Jesus did. We're we're fully satisfied. But I'm I'm just saying like with our. In this life here, you know, we, we know what the word satisfaction means, mm-hmm. but it's it's like a shadow. Of mm-hmm. heavenly, you know, mm-hmm. it's a, a shadow of heavenly. It's, you know, when you think compared to what to what God himself being satisfied. I mean, he's the He's the one who is the our example. And, and, well, he's the one who, even more than the example, he's the, <coughs> well, he's the one who's, uh, it really depends on that, that he's satisfied. That's right. You know, and as long as he's satisfied, well, then we can be satisfied. Mm-hmm.